Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I actually had an okay one. Um, we're trying to teach uh, Gemma to sleep in her own room. Uh, so I was sleeping in her room with her cuddling me up all night on a mattress on the floor because I think she just wants to be close, you know? And of course, who doesn't? So I, I don't think she's ever gonna sleep on her own. And I don't think that that's the thing that I'm gonna strive to teach her either. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very, very, very grateful for all the help we've gotten from my parents this weekend. They've taken Gemma for two nights in a row, which is like the best gift one can get nowadays. And then they were babysitting last night so that we could go out um, with friends. So first we had like a paddle hour with some friends, you know, playing paddle, which I actually find really funny. I've done it like four or five times in my life. And then we had dinner without, you know, thinking of rushing home or, um, you know, just really enjoying ourselves. It was lovely. And I've been, I think, braiding my hair um today so that i didn't have to spend hours you know curling it <laughs> and uh, and it also feels really lovely so i'm also very grateful for this new hair of mine uh, i'm sure some wonderful indian woman has donated it and i am so grateful for that and i feel a little bit terrible about this but um but hopefully you know uh, it finances a lot uh, so, yeah, I feel very pretty in this beautiful, beautiful hair of mine. Um, and uh, I am grateful for the wonderful weather. It's, it's such a, like, out of the world, incredible winter day today. It's a blue sky, it's like frosty, but in the sun it's warm. It's just lovely. So we've been out playing with Gemma all morning and she loves it. Uh, we've been throwing like snow to Penny, you know, she, Penny loves snow more than anything else, I think. So she jumps and makes like a, she's like a circus dog in the snow. And of course Gemma loves, you know, that and I do too. So we've been playing with her a lot. And um, then we've been having pancakes for lunch and it's just like such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. I am very grateful of my life. And um, and we were talking about these sad things, you know, in the morning. There was some one of my bonus bonus sons' um, friends since he was a child lost his father, you know, uh, as a child, and uh, and he was apparently like this really wonderful person. And I have such a hard time hearing things like this because that's my worst nightmare <laughs> uh, that anything would happen to me so that I wouldn't, you know see Gemma and the boys grow up and, and be there and support them and love them throughout their childhood but also that anything would happen to my amazing partner um yeah I can't think of that because it breaks my heart and then I think about all the people in the world that it happens to and um, yeah now I'm starting to cry so <laughs> I am too sensitive for the world um so I'm very grateful that everyone is healthy around me and um, and care caring, you know, because I used to things I used to take things for granted, and uh, I just took everyone around me for granted. My lovely parents, you know, sister, my friends. Like I just feel so so blessed now to have so many caring people around me. And I just really want to give that on, you know, to the next generation and uh, be there for them throughout their lives. Um, now let's do some yoga, otherwise I'm just going to cry. I also do have my period, so I'm a little extra sensitive at the moment. <laughs> I think many, many, you know, people that are close to their emotions can relate. We're going to do some yoga. Get down on your sitting bones, straighten your back up. 
Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Observe your breath and where any part of your breath is located. We're also going to do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine, quick and hard for 200 breaths. Inhale to start. Very, very, very good job. We're gonna do the hip roll, inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. I'm thinking. <laughs> I think that kindness is so underrated as a trait, you know. I think being kind is one of the most important things we can be in the world. Like, kindness is needed everywhere. And, and I think very often, you know, we look upon it as a weakness or, or a stupidity or, you know, I think it's it's the opposite. I think choosing to be kind is, is such an enormous strength and, um, and continuing being kind even though, you know, shit happens and people are awful and, you know, keeping a kind attitude. I admire, we're going to do a, a shoulder stroll. Um, so exhale forward and down and inhale up and back. My partner is one of the kindest people that I've ever met, and so is my mother. And, you know, when I was younger, I almost... 
see the spice stitch a little bit, you know. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, it's it's such a wonderful um, personality. Um, and I'm trying to be the kindest version of myself. I am still a bit stingy um, as a person, you know. <laughs> I have a temper and I get angry and I am not super kind. <laughs> I'm doing my best, but damn, God knows that I can be a bitch from time to time. We're also gonna do twists, so place your right hand on your left knee and look over your left shoulder. Um, but I really strive to be, you know, the kindest version I can be today. And um, it's a challenge. So I challenge you to be kind, to really, really, in every aspect of every decision that you're gonna make today, make a kind one to yourself and to the people around you. your left hand on your right knee, place your right hand behind your back and look over your right shoulder. back to the tailor's position. We're going to finish today's class with a short meditation. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this Close your palms to your forehead with this 
Thank you, thoughts today to your mouth, to you, to your speeches, and to your heart, for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself as well. Keep on doing that. Namaste. Remember to go out there and give and be kind.